Welcome to my channel as we discuss how to start business as a teenager. This business or this video is dedicated to ambitious teens out there. Today I'm going to crack the code of launching your own business even before you get to that Lego age or the magic number 18. That is right. Say goodbye to Lemonade Stands and hello to becoming a successful teen entrepreneur. Please subscribe as I pilot this interesting topic on how you can grow successfully into the entrepreneurship world from a teen to adulthood. Please subscribe to my channel. Click the notification button. Be ready to comment your idea, your observation at any point in this video. This video is going to be your blueprint to a successful business from the ground to up. I will cover everything from finding your niche to rocking the Lego side. Because as a minor, there will be Lego hindrances along the way. But this video will tell you how to cross the hurdle. Grab your phone, fuel your creativity, and get ready to turn your passion into profits. Are you ready? If you are, there are seven steps we are going to cover in this video. So let's dive into the first step. That is finding your passion. As a teenager, the first thing you have to do is identify those things you do seamlessly. Identify those things you can do without puzzle, without cracking your brain. Are you a super coder? Do you code mind-blowing code coding? Do you create uh, uh, instant worthy baked goods? Maybe you are a whiz at organization, or you have a knack for fixing bicycles. That's you have a knack for uh, tech, fixing cameras or you have a knack for arts work. Whatever is it, whatever you know how to do better now, that should be part of your passion. As a, as a team, your business should be tailored to what you love and what you can freely share with the world. Think about the problems you can solve for others or the unique skills you can bring to the table. Take these few seconds to think. What is it you know how to do better? That is the area you will start thinking on how to develop in the business line. After that, you have to research, refine, and repeat, or you have to validate your idea. Yes, you have idea, right? But before going into deep, you have to do your research. Is there a market for it? This is my product or services. Do I have people that can pay for it? Are other people in that niche? That's a sign to tell you, yes, there is money. If, if your idea is only you, then there is a problem. So who are those competitors? Who are those doing the same thing you are doing? What makes you stand out? If there are markets, if there are competitors, then you have to start thinking of how do I enter this market to gain your own part of the market? That means you have to identify your unique selling points. Talk to your potential customers. Your first line of customers should be family and friends. Get their honest feedback and use it to refine your own concepts. Remember, the best successful businesses in the world solve genuine problems for people. So that's your creativity. That your passion. How do you use it to solve people's problem? I hope you start thinking deep into that. Now, the third step is team up with grown up. As I said, there are Lego barriers for teens in most part of the world that wants to go into the business. So you must team up with your parents, guardians, Lego practitioners to help you. You have you must partner to them to help you cross those hurdles, such as such as getting permits, licenses, even opening bank accounts specifically for your business. 
In fact, they can guide you to maneuver and navigate the exciting and sometimes tricky world of entrepreneurship. So in as much as you want to be a boss of your own, at this stage, you need, you need grown-ups that will guide you through the government processes, overcoming the government or the policy makers' hurdles. Step four, craft a winning game plan. Yes, it is time to become strategic. You have to create a simple business plan that will contain your goal or goals, your target audience, your pricing strategies. How much will you charge for your goods or services? Your marketing plan, how will you reach those people? Yes, even a basic plan helps you become focused and make informed decisions. Writing a business plan is usually on the high side and a bit technical. So the fastest way you can achieve that without even spending much money is go online. There are free templates online you can use to create your own. Go to canva.com, search for business plans. You will see templates which will give you the right direction to create your own winning business plan. Then the fifth step is marketing. Marketing, marketing. In this case, you have to wear the hat of a marketer. Yes. You don't need a huge budget to achieve or to get to the right people. All you need is a professional-looking social media uh, profile and they're ready to put in the work there. Yes, once you create your profile on social media, be it TikTok, be it Instagram, be it Facebook, be it X, any of them, ensure you produce quality pictures, quality photos, quality videos, quality information showcasing your product and service or services. Run engaging contents. That is only when you start having the traction. So you can quickly run discounts, uh, special discounts, engaging uh, contests to attract new customers. Your best bet as a team is the social media. And the biggest secret is just being consistent on the media. Always be consistent on your social media. Then the sixth part is, or the step is, level up your skills. The, the best thing to do at this stage is get a model, get a model, get a mentor. Find for yourself a business mentor who will teach you how to do this one-on-one. -on -one. Look your environment. Now, if you can't get a physical one-on-one, -on -one, go online, search for mentor. Let your mentor be someone or someone who will model you with someone who is in that field of your interest. Get a mentor then you must have or must use the resources, free resources we have online. We have so many abundant resources in any area of business you want to indulge yourself into. There are free resources that you can put your head into or you can learn, calm down to study. Remember, your expertise, your professionalism attracts people, will attract more people to you. Please, if you're enjoying this video, I urge you to subscribe. I urge you to share. I urge you to be part of this uh, community. Click on the notification button so that whenever I send more videos like this, you'll be among the first person to get it. Then, the seventh step is embrace the hustle. As a young man, is not going to be easy. Running a business takes a high level of dedication. So be prepared to put in the work that I will tell you. It is perfectly rewarding. Totally worth it. You will gain valuable experience, financial independence, and the satisfaction of building something from the ground up. Yes, most successful businessmen you see today in the world started like this as a teenager. They started nursing the idea as a teenager, and they put in the work, and today they are there. I am one of them. I started when I was a teen, selling little, little things, learning crafts. And today, I have so many businesses in my name. Yes. 
is possible. So please be ready. It's not going to be easy. Remember, age is a number. Yes, do not limit yourself. <clears throat> do not limit yourself. With the right idea, passion, and little adult support, you can become a successful teen entrepreneur. So what are you waiting? Nothing. Nothing. Go out there. Chase your dream and turn your hustle into reality. Before I go, I will tell you one big secret about success. No matter how prepared you are, no matter how ready, no matter the backup you have, you will encounter failures. Now, the number one secret of dealing with failures is never be emotionally attached to your, never be emotionally attached to whatever you are doing. Rather, be ready to embrace the problem. Be ready to embrace whatever it is. Failure is not an opposite to success. Failure is a step. So when any part of this, your journey into teen entrepreneurship failed, just know that you have learned something in a different way, moving towards your success. Thank you for watching, and I hope to meet you in the next video as a successful team. Please subscribe, share, leave your comments here so that others will learn from you or from all of us as a community. Thank you.